welcome back to Wildberry Island, where we are carrying on with Vlogmas Day 13, which means that this is officially the halfway point to Vlogmas, our whole celebration of having daily episodes of our adventures here in Wildberry until Christmas, basically. And we're getting there, you guys. I am so proud of us. I am so, so glad we're able to do this. Even if um today it happens to be just a little bit late, I know, guys, but that's okay because it's still happening on the right day and I'm going to rejoice about that fact. Plus, I've been having an absolutely wonderful day with my husband, Chips. He made me cinnamon bread and then I fell asleep on the couch for like a long time. <laughs> so it's been a really sweet day and that is why we are here in the evening in Wildberry, which is actually a something to celebrate on its own because we're almost never here when it's actually the setting sun. And that means we can see a whole bunch of our my cute little lights. Like, look at this. This is the handheld lantern that you could get uh, from a special event a little while ago. And I went ahead and I got a whole bunch of them because I knew they were going to be really cute. And look at them. They're totally great as decorations to kind of sprinkle around as uh, like, you know, decor to light up the island. I kind of wanted to use them as ground lamps, but now I'm thinking they'd be even cuter if I put them on top of something. Ah. But all right, so like I said, I haven't been in Wildberry today, which means we need to go about, what do I have in my pockets right now? Oh, that's right. We kind of just like quit yesterday. Fun fact, friends, I did not mean to actually quit quit. I just meant to turn off the island designer. But you know what? Sometimes you just have to roll with it. So it looks like I still have some Groton and some Nochi in my pockets. But that's not good enough for me if I'm going to be able to feed my wonderful son, Cranston. Let's see. So there's a little bit of sugar cane here. Oops, sorry, aunts. Oh, and Cranston's home! All right, guys, let's go ahead and make Cranston and some of the other villagers something really sweet to eat. And then today, our job is going to be to celebrate the wonders of Wildberry and keep an eye on none other than the skies! Because I have learned where some of the very special Vlogmas winter-themed DIYs that I really, really want, like this absolutely amazing wallpaper that we can put in our Vlogmas room that actually has falling snow coming down on it. <gasps> the, that DIY, which is just gorgeous and gives me all of the wintry feels, is actually only found if you can get it from the winds of Wildberry, aka from the presents that float overhead in the sky. So we're going to need to do a really good job of keeping our eyes out and knocking all of those presents down. So I'm going to be listening really carefully for those. And that does mean that we actually do need to go ahead and probably just buy a, a new one of the, um, the slingshots since apparently I'm incapable of making one on my own. Uh, anyway. All right, let's come back over here. Oh, here's all the sugar for crying out loud. I knew I had some of it somewhere. And I feel like making, let's make something with cherries and I'll make something with our oranges too. I actually just got a bunt cake, uh, a bunt pan to make a orange uh, pound cake <laughs> that I'm borrowing from a friend. And it's really exciting because I did make some nochi after making so much nochi in Animal Crossing. I made some sweet potato nochi, which I think is actually going to be featured in tonight's Vlogmas over on our vlog channel. So the real Vlogmas. And I'm really tickled about that because I think the nochi, it was delicious. It was absolutely delicious. And only the second time I've ever made nochi. So now I mentioned how I wanted to make an orange pound cake because I've been making so much orange pound cake in Animal Crossing. And a friend actually lent her bunt pan to me. So we're gonna have to see if I end up making a vegan like orange pound cake sometime soon. It just looks delicious. Oh my gosh. I mean, look at this. Doesn't this seem like it would be absolutely fantastic to be able to eat? All right, we'll craft a couple more of them real quick. Hey, Arfoid, who's a good boy? I'll have to visit Captain's Island later tonight. I don't have time right now, whilst we're all together. Oh, you only need one cherry for those cherry tarts? Oh, that looks so good too. Maybe I'll make that. I might have to do some special like episodes where I'm just like cooking the things in Animal Crossing. Except in real life, because this just looks way delicious. All right, what else can I make? Let's see, orange marmalade. I can make the roost sable cookie. Uh, and I've crafted everything here, which is adorable. We also have the crepes. I wonder how much the tart sells for and how much the cookies, pancake, how much does a pancake sell for? We'll sell a pancake set to the nooklings. 
And we'll see how much pancakes happen to sell for. Because I'm curious. But alright, other than that, let's go ahead and we're going to drop all of these things. If I can. Gonna need to get more flour sometime soon. Oh, we have a lot of sugar. Oh, whoops. <laughs> well, at least it's really fitting for Cranston's yard for us just to like yeet everything on the ground. Oh, come on! Just as I said that. All right, we'll put a little of that down, a little of this. <gasps> Look, and we have the glowing moss we could use to decorate around the island. Heck. All right, we'll visit with Cranston, and then we're going to head straight for the Nookling Brothers to like suit up and make sure that we have a good slingshot ready. <gasps> Cranston, what are you making? Check me out. I'm doing stuff. What you doing? I'm making me a cardboard bed. One of the bugs on the floor whispered the DIY instructions in my ear while I was sleeping last night. Cranston, do you need a more comfy bed? Like, yes, I do know how to make a cardboard bed. You've taught me before, actually. Which is really adorable. Alright, I might take this note to the Nooklings. Because he's being so cute. <laughs> One day, I think in the summer, we will make Cranston just like a cardboard kingdom. Like a cardboard fort, which I think would be really cute. Oh, you are gonna be a superhero! I will y'all help me pick a boy junior! Alright, thank you, Cranston. Speaking of crumb cake, would you like to have another delicious orange pound cake? Here you are. Sweets for the sweet. And how's he doing tonight? So he's basically making a, like, cardboard fort right now, which is adorable. And a cardigan school uniform top. Thank you, Cranston. I might have to see if Julian would look good in this. All right, let's head out. We'll just kind of swing by and take a peek at Blanche's house and at Diva's house, working ever so hard to try to win their friendship and get our way up so we can one day have their photos displayed as... Okay, nobody here, but I love what we've been doing with Blanche's place. Lots of great ideas for furthering that. Diva's place... What the heck? I love how, like, the... Treasure trees seem to just sense that they're supposed to be on this side of the island, so they show up here like every day. All right, let me go ahead and I'm gonna put this away. We'll just have to say that clearly Diva's archaeology research is bearing a lot of rich fruit. And if you're not here for the roleplay, I don't know why you're here, but I do hope you're having a good time. Oh, hey, Diva! Oh, little snowflakes! Also, look at how cute this looks at night! This is like one of the first times I've ever seen it at night! I love this! Oh, we have a whole bunch more of those over here, don't we? I love how the lanterns look! Oh good, and there's a bunch of money! Alright, let's gather this up too. There we go. Diva, how are you doing? What is up, Siri? It's probably the weather, but wow! I feel like a million bells to Day Gemstone. You look like a million bells, that is the cutest outfit. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and we're gonna give Diva an orange pound cake. I just happen to have it on me. Let's see, and here, have a wrestler uniform. All right, you're clearly feeling spunky today. Not the photo I was looking for, but we'll get there eventually. Meanwhile, Cranston and <laughs> Cranston and our oh my gosh, <gasps> look how cute this is, you guys. We've got a whole party going on with our villagers right now. Oh, this is so sweet! Stay there, everyone! They're caroling! Oh my gosh, and everybody saw me! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. We have carolers outside! <laughs> outside of the town hall! Oh yeah. Whoops, did not mean to do that. Here we go. Gotta get a good picture for a thumbnail. Let's see, how to explain that they're caroling and not just like, oh. Okay, that's precious. <laughs> they actually sound really great. This is fantastic. I don't want to interrupt them. I'm gonna work very carefully behind them. What's the sign say? Uh, 
Oh, Robin moved away though. Okay, I felt really bad. We did forget Robin's birthday, I think, but she also moved away. So now I feel really conflicted, but she, no, no, she moved away before the fourth because that's when on the very first day of Vlogmas, my true love gave to me Gladys moving into our village. And Blanche's like birthday is coming up on the 21st. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, heck, I love stuff down here. All right, let me go ahead and, no, 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 I see a snowflake. Hello, beautiful snowflake. I want to leave a bunch of these snowflakes just like scattered around the place as decorations because they're so pretty. Oh, I love our island in winter. I can't wait to do more to it. All right, let's go see what the Niffling Brothers have today. And then we'll start hitting up a bunch of the different houses and giving, I guess, where are the carolers today? We'll do some caroling. <gasps> Is that an adorable itty bitty little grocery shopping bag, boys? I love it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and sell some stuff to you. I have, I'm a little curious. How much for a cherry tart? Just wondering, for a friend. 780 bells, huh? Okay, so cherry tarts aren't really worth it. They do still count, I think, as being expensive enough a gift to give villagers in order to get um, their photo, because I think you need to have a gift that's like over 750 bells, but I could be wrong. I usually try to just shoot above 2,000 bells and cross my fingers. 1,260 bells for pancakes! Okay, so that helps me know that pancakes are actually the better deal than cherry tart. Ironically, I mean, I feel like cherries would be harder to get your hands on, especially because they weren't our native fruit. Uh, all right, wrestler uniform for sure. Uh, the extra flimsy axe can go. I'm going to keep my vine crown. And who gave me the black brick flooring? I remember that that was like somebody just kind of gifted it to me, which was kind of amazing. Uh, Got to keep all the wood. I'll sell those tree branches for now, though. And you know what? I'll sell, I'll sell the gratin and the nochi because it's old. I don't want to give my villagers old food. I'll just make them fresh, new, delicious food. All right, thank you very much, boys. Thank you, thank you. Now I have to go ahead and squeal over how this adorable paper bag is. We'll have to see if we can actually recolor it or put custom designs on it, which would be really cool. What's this? A round space heater. Uh, I'm actually okay. Thank you very much, though. I prefer heated blankets. Then we have a water cooler. And a ranch cupboard, huh? Hmm, 4,000 bells for the ranch cover. It is kind of cute. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. And then have I, do I have this laptop? How much? 70,000 bells! All right, look, I might need to buy this because this is clearly a very important thing to own. But have we ever run into a laptop before? Let's find out. All right, and G, oh, wait, 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 I, K, okay, light switch, lecture hall, lantern, lab experiment set. Oh, we have never had a laptop before, friends. All right, we're gonna have to bite the bullet. I suppose we'll just pretend that they're having some sort of fantastic sale. And besides, having a laptop will allow us to be able to do even more wonderful work for Wildberry. Plus, we can actually customize it, and if I work hard, I might be able to do a cute customization screen that, you know, maybe looks like one of our videos or something. Ah, my money! Oh, I'm gonna be so sad not to have my money, but you know what? That's gonna be a really important thing. We'll be able to do lots with it. Oh, they're so cute. And meanwhile, is anything tricycle for sale? No, we don't need to worry about anything that's currently for sale, though I might buy that KK song. Bye, boys! All right. Wait, no, I didn't. <laughs> I needed to be able to get a slingshot. I take it back, I take it back. Okay, look, I'm gonna sell some cherries <laughs> and then we're gonna go back inside. We're gonna grab a slingshot and then we're gonna study the skies above Wildberry. I have a feeling tonight while Chips and I eat dinner, I might have like Wildberry next to me full volume and just kind of be keeping an eye out for all of the presents that might be floating overhead. We will make a wish upon a star and get that snowy wallpaper one way or another. All right, outdoorsy slingshot, please, boys. Thank you very much. We've got to be prepared for this. Phew. All right. 
I'm actually really excited to have the laptop because it you can I think customize the screen and I think that looks really fantastic. Let's come over here. Look at our little skate rink. It's so cute. And then let me actually see if we can customize these things. Sturdy paper bag. Yes, look, see? Look at this, because you can customize what goes on the desktop. <gasps> we could change it to web browsing for kitten videos. Oh my gosh, or you can do the like, custom design so it looks like we're doing research about flowers. Like we're on some sort of flower blog. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah, this would be really fun. Like now I'm doing research about birds. Like cotton, cotton, cotton side. I've got a lot of stuff I haven't showed you guys yet that will be really cute. Little winter like theme. Okay, that's going to be precious. We're going to have a really good time with that. I'm absolutely changing it to the web browsing for kittens right now because that's precious. And then you can also customize that paper bag, huh? Being able to really look into these kinds of little details are what can bring an island completely to life, after all. You can do really cool patterns, which I like, and check this out! <gasps> you guys! We should go get a couple more of those paper bags, and then we can totally decorate them with some of the different themes, like this poinsettia or this snow field, and we can put it over. I'm going to decorate with the snow field to start. And we can put it over next to the Christmas market we're making! Okay, those sturdy paper bags are probably going to be one of my favorite detail items that we've had. I might grab some of these pumpkins to sell. Oh my gosh. All right. All right. Should I buy for... Uh, I'll buy more from the boys later. For now, let's come over to our little Christmas market, which rumor has it should hopefully be able to have lots and lots of lights soon. In fact, I think we might get some very special... Um, uh, some very, very special lights that I've seen for sale. All right, let me move this speaker. Our Christmas market is slowly but surely coming together even better. I love this thing. Look at this paper bag, it's so cute. It just seriously gives us like the perfect detail touch to making this a proper market. And we're gonna have to remove some items, add some items. We definitely need more lights. I need to put down a path, but we're, we're gonna work on that and we're gonna make dreams happen, friends. All right, meanwhile, I saw Mama Sky walking around right here. Nice running into you, Novel. A little fresh air never fails to cheer me up, Novel. Need something, Novel? All right, let's go ahead and give her some of the pancakes. Fresh pancakes just for you, Mama Sky. Let's see what she thinks about that. The black brick flooring. Wait, did she give me the black brick flooring before too? Wait. Huh. I feel like I'm getting some serious hints from my villagers right now. <laughs> Siri, you should decorate your house with black bricks. Okay, guys. Thank you. I'm, I'm looking for like, you know, the ability to craft snowy landscapes in my house, but that's okay. All right. Let's deliver a couple more of the presents. And we'll say we're going caroling all around the place. And I need to put more lights out so that in some places it'll be brighter for our villagers during the night. Hey, Shari. Um, hello, are you seeing this? I'm feeling way fab in my dreamy dress today. Where are the paparazzi when you need them? I'm totes ready for a candid tra-la-la. <laughs> oh my goodness. I wonder, you know, I could see her being into fashion design and stuff like that. All right. Would you like a black brick flooring, actually? But we're, you know what? Cherry tart for Shelly in her pink house, pink and red house with everything else around it just seems perfect. A really tank. Thanks. Boy, I feel like the village. You know what? Head cannon. Sh uh, Sheldon is constantly trying to get the other villagers to join in with like relay races with him, and that's why we have so many relay tanks. Oh, the cuties. I love the gyroids so much. And speaking of Sheldon... Oh, he's not over here! But Sheldon, how will I ever come and, like, give you gifts if you're not here? Also, what am I going to do with all these peaches? Winter peaches, I suppose. We could sell them. I don't think I have any peach recipes yet, which is a travesty because peaches are one of my absolute favorite foods. 
Oranges have recently beat peaches, but I think oranges have the advantage of they're available during more of the year for me to eat. Oh, and we should probably take down some of these mushrooms for now. Not the mushroom lamps. I think I might just recolor them to maybe be like white ones. But I do think it's time to admit that mushroom season has come to an end. And I have been thinking lately that it's about time that we come up with something special to redo this camping area. But I love our ducks that we have over there. So I'm gonna have to give that some thought. All right, well, we have one more gift to give to the villagers. I'm gonna wiggle right over here. Got this pair. I'm gonna grab these pairs just because I can. Honestly, if I spent more time like harvesting our forest, we would probably have... Oh, hey, Julian! I'm so glad to hear your voice. I'm just making it up as I go along, but I know one thing for sure. Moving to Wildberry was the best decision I ever made. He's just been like ecstatically happy lately. Have you guys noticed that? Julian, one day I really want to be able to redo your house, my friend. Would you like some black brick flooring, actually? I have two. This is my promise to you that I will fix your house one day. Not really sure what else to say. I guess anything could come in- oh, he didn't really like it. I don't think. Okay, wait, a ju- wait, a judoji, huh? Wow, Julian's been giving me a lot of really, like, unusual- Okay. <laughs> He's been giving me a lot of unusual clothes lately. Thank you very much, Julian. I think Sheldon's going to love that. Alright, so let's see. I don't see Sheldon. Haven't seen Audie either. We do need to work on her, her relationship with her. Diva has literally walked from one side of the island to the other tonight. Like, I'm impressed. I feel like ever since we cleared out that big- Oh wait, yeah, Audie's over here. Ever since we cleared out that big flower, like, field, I feel like it's been a lot easier for our villagers to get around. And so I've seen them in more places. But all right, I think we'll go ahead and I will keep an eye on the winds above Wildberry because that happens to be where the DIY gifts are. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and give a gift to Blanche. How do you do, quite so? Time moves a bit more leisurely here on the island. If I don't watch the clock, the day ends before I know it. And then let's go ahead and give her the last of the food we prepared. I'm gonna have the best fed villagers in like the entire world. Oh, she loves cherry tart, good. But she says that about all our food. <gasps> A patchwork tulip hat. Those are usually very cute. Thank you, Blanche. <laughs> all right, and right back she goes to, oh, that's really precious. Oh my gosh. Okay, I love that. It's cute and pink. It'll be perfect for when the season of pink things has arrived again. And let's catch this. And my bubbleoids being a good boy. All right, well, we'll have plenty to do around the island. So I think we'll be doing some cleaning up. We'll maybe start working on our Christmas market to make it look a little bit better and set out items that actually make me feel really good about it. Uh, and then we will keep an eye on the skies above Wildberry so that hopefully we'll be able to get all sorts of special DIY objects in no time. And of course, we do have to remember that Lottie is waiting for us so that hopefully we'll be able to do some work with her and really start discovering some uh, very interesting items and new skills we can use here on the island too. So all right guys, thank you so much for joining me on today's adventures. If you guys could, do please leave a like for the wonders of the carolers that we have on the island. Look at these guys. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.